Welcome back to a new episode of Fresh and Refly. Remember, my name is Mick. Before we get into anything, I gotta shout out the 1992 Ren, as well as that the vintage Patagonia Deep Pile, as well as that the vintage Guess Species Movie 1994 denim jacket I have behind here, as well as that the vintage Nike. Gotta love it. If you guys are enjoying the videos and you do want to make more, please hit that like button. It really does help me out a lot, as well as that please hit the subscribe button if you're not already. And hit that bell button if you want to see when I upload immediately, as well as that. Gotta answer the question right here. Do I sell my stuff? And yes, I do remember link is down below do check out the depop and i do want to say thank you to everybody who's been ordering orders are going out today are you excited because i am with all that said let's get into it oh yeah making my way through the cars like always in the parking lot always trying to hit me out here you know how it goes So, I gotta confess, uh, that entrance fee actually had a Canadian coin in it. I didn't know. It's not my fault. Okay. Don't blame me. Dude, I had these going on, man. Oh my god. But I want to see some hats. Let's do it. Definitely had to scoop this. Check it out. The vintage Oakley cap. Uh, thermonuclear with a patchwork right on the back. Dollar scoop at the dollar table. Always good. Let's start this off right. Yeet. Oh my gosh, there are generators and and just a bunch of stuff going off. I just got a big whiff of just exhaust, like gasoline, man. I that woke me up definitely. Nothing too big at the spot. I did pick up the uh, vintage uh, youth Nike hat. It's not bad. That's always good. I've been walking around for a little while and I did find and came up on the 1992. Okay, Ren. Uh, I have no idea actually why he has a scarf and he's got long johns on with his butt showing. Okay. Well, that's a collectible right there. That 90s flowing in the mix right here with some weird hair going on. Well, that's really cool. Love the licensing tag too. It's always a good touch. It's on to it. Let's go. Yes. So, 
I am shocked, okay? This one was just hanging up at the spot, okay? Check out the tag. Get the Nike size medium made in Singapore. All right, check it out. Nike SCMAF 1987 track field advisory board with the patchwork, okay? I think it's a quarter zip or a half zip. It's a little smaller size, size medium, but whoa, okay. Um, those people are always looking at my camera sometimes, so I'm kind of nervous. So flip it around, man. Check it out, $5 scoop. You know how to pick it up. 1987 is such a big part of Nike's history. A lot of shoes came out. A lot of main silhouettes came out too. And it's just an awesome piece for 1987, let alone being a track and field advisory board for Nike. No brainer, gonna scoop. So sick. You know like they say, right? In the bag. Bro, hey, how you been? How you been? <laughs> um, yeah, so coming out the spot, some made in USA Converse size six and a half. What's crazy is that the last ones I found, I think, were six and a half also in the same colorway. But the only thing is, if you can see right here, why the vendor probably didn't know anything. Uh, I saw this little edge that's right underneath the All Star. It's in like that little hint of something. It's so sad. There's no Made in USA right in the back. It's all been worn down from wear. But you can't hide the inside. If you know what I mean. It does say Made in USA right there. Converse Made in USA. Like I said, you can't hide the fact. I did pick it up for two bucks, so I was very happy. Those dollars in the mix. Oh yeah. Remember, this is going back to the fundamentals of the Swami is getting kicks for the low. And that's how I like it. This is actually the second Glock hat that I did pick up at the Swap Meet, and I did say it before, and I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna ask you guys, Glock perfection. Does it need to be changed a little bit here and there? Or should you leave it as it is? Tell me. Comment down below. Every time I come through here, I think that's a real dog right there. Look at it. Crazy. I had to talk about this right off. You guys can see it? There's a wig up there. There's someone's wig up there. That's crazy. Call the fire department. Hello. 
gracias. And there we go. I did scoop it up. I had to. 15 is 15. I'm gonna do it good. Oh my gosh, this is a beetle. But I am taking off. Not scoop. Yeah. Let's get in that recap straight off with these pieces. So I'm gonna start off with the hats. In reality, all of the hats were a buck each. So let's get into it right now. So this is actually the Oakley Thermonuclear Protection just crazy nylon cap does have the yupong and the made in korea so you got to know the quality as well as that the actual like towel material for the sweatband i mean it makes sense like i always say and you gotta love that patch but on that i gotta show a little clip right there the thermonuclear commercial from 1992 just an awesome piece and you think about it is this piece surviving alone being in this great of a condition is just awesome i do I actually do have the matching shirt right here so this is going to be a great combo right here i love the fact that i actually found out it's from 1992 i had no idea for some reason i knew it was 90s but not that early that's not the vintage nike right here so check it out on the inside of that Nike tag, it does have that tiny snapback and the green brim. Like I said, it always tells all. And the swish little tag that's right above the headline. That's pretty cool. And I just picked it up, probably throwing on one of the collectibles. I have no idea. Uh, I might just sell it because uh, the youth stuff is actually starting to get popular. People are dressing their little ones vintage style. I love it. We'll see what we do with that one. That's that. The Glock sports hats. Yes. Uh, like I was saying, Glock perfection. Uh, the last one I did find was a perfection hat. And this one is actually a uh glock shooting sports hat in just amazing condition the fact there was a buck i was so happy to scoop it does have the glock tag on the inside the last one i had was made for shooting because it actually had this weird fit that actually covered down farther like to put some uh ear protection on in this case this is just a regular dad cap just fits so good it's probably got to go in the private stash if not it's going up on depop so check that out so that like i was saying the 1992 Ren from Ren and Stimpy, a Nickelodeon classic and all booty. In all seriousness, I was very happy to pick this one because it actually has the Dakin uh, incorporated tag on there. If you guys know Dakin, I mean, even this one I have is actually a Mattel incorporated one. So it's pretty cool finding. It's just another collectible from the Nickelodeon era that I just miss so dearly. This one I actually picked up for three bucks and I was just happy to just because I didn't do the whole back and forth with it because I just wanted it. Another one in the collection. Love it. Now to get into this board right here, I did pick it up for 15 bucks, and this was a far cry from the $30 he was asking for originally. Again, what is this going to be? It's just going to be a wall hanger. This is a big part of my childhood. World Industries, Birdhouse, um, 118 Board Shop was just everything to me, man. I, I grew up wanting to skate, loving to skate, just breathing it. I lived right next to that board shop right in Granada Hills. Let alone being a World Industries deck, I wish it was a Flame Boy one because that was the second board I ever had. But this is pretty cool with Devil Man himself right here. Love the graphic, and it does have the graphic on the other side too, as well as the measurements of 7.5. Boards I used to skate. Now, so that's some vintage Nike in the mix right here. So yes, that gray or silver tag, it's up to debate. This is actually made in Singapore, half sip. It's actually a Nike SEMAF for the 1987 track and field advisory board. Just awesome, and yes, that little patchwork is always good. Like I was saying, 1987 was a big pinnacle year for Nike. I mean, you first start off with the Air Max, a shoe with the first visible air unit, and you go all the way into their air trainers, and then you go into their uh, sock runners, and you think about it, that's the, that's the whole predecessor to what we know today as being like the, the minimalist running shoe. Then you go all the way down to that, you go, look at that Jordan 2. Uh, it was just a, a year for them to really move forward into what the future of Nike would become. And that's why this piece, it just sets it off right here. It really does. I mean, I can't believe it survived this long, let alone the print survived this long. That's what the whole thing is. Just hanging up at the spot. $5 scoop and I was happy to. This is a size medium. It's too small for me. I don't know if this is going in the collection. It's just going to be sold off. It's just a sick piece. I mean, a lot of history knowledge for 5 bucks. Now, last but not least, and I'm going to say the cop today just because of the uh, rarity of it, I guess. Uh, in the way I found it. So these are actually made in USA 1980s Chuck Taylors. Now it was so sad because at first I was just gonna pass them up. I didn't see anything special with them because of this. I mean like I was saying you don't see too much and this is the only one that has a hint of anything. It's right there on the edge. That has been worn down. These have been worn and that's the thing being this old it's pretty cool that they've lasted this long as well as that the bottoms are not all the way done. It is a size six and a half and you guys are gonna want these. Remember they're gonna be up on Depop. I've been looking Looking for my size forever and the crazy thing is these are the second pair that i found the last one i found was a six and a half or a seven for two bucks i did not mind picking it up let alone i don't know what it is i find these uh main usa ones and they're always like this color i have no idea it's just the way things are but like i said it is super clean the last ones i found had a stain in them and these don't have barely anything just a little bit of glue marks 
I mean, barely, and you get like that non-yellowing going on. Wherever this was, it was being taken care of, let alone that. Look at the toe caps. So clean. Remember, Depop. I just gotta say thank you guys for watching. It was just awesome going out to the swap meet, uh, picking up what I could. And at first, you don't get it in the beginning, was super, super slow. And then it started picking up right at the end. And sometimes it is like that. And that's why you just can't give up. You gotta search for what you can find and just keep going. Diligence. And with that, I'm just gonna say what I always say. Hit that sub button because more videos are coming. This was Mitt from Fresh from the Flea.